Shopify. Imagine this, you move to a new country to make a name for yourself, apply to dozens of jobs only to get rejected. Giving up, you accept the mediocre 9 to 5 position at XYZ company, but can't get employed. Why? Because you don't have a work permit. Now, you aren't really left with any options. What would you do? I am pretty sure you'd panic. But guess what Tobias the young entrepreneur does? He becomes a billionaire. Most of us are familiar with Shopify as the e-commerce business platform. But the founding story wasn't really one of intention but of pure determination and opportunity. Here is the story of an entrepreneur who is worth $6 billion as of today. Tobias Lutka, Early Life Toby's story offers a fascinating perspective on what perseverance and hard work looks like in the long run. His journey begins in Germany. Tobias Lutka was born in 1981 in a city called Koblenz. When he was about six years old, Toby received something known as the Schneider CPC, which is a German brand of the Amstrad CPC, a computer of sorts, from his parents. Fast forward a few years, at the age of 11, Toby picked up an interesting hobby. He rewrote the code of the games he played and modified the computer hardware. Following his growing passion, Toby dropped out of high school and entered an apprenticeship program at the Koblenzer Carl Benz School to become a computer programmer. This opened up a great opportunity for Toby. He got a job at a subsidiary of Siemens with Jurgen Starr as his boss, a man who Toby came to idolize and be inspired by. He later moved to Canada in 2003 after meeting his future wife, an Ottawa native, on a snowboarding trip to Whistler. This was the turning point in his life that set a new path for his career. Founding Story In Ottawa, Toby started looking for a permanent job and was deep in the tail end of agreements with the local company. But when the time came to sign the papers, they realized Toby didn't have a work permit. Now most people would be petrified alone in a new country, blocked from starting a new life. But Toby refused to back down. He called his family lawyer, who confirmed that indeed he couldn't really work in Canada, but he can start his own company. And that was it. In 2004, Toby started a snowboard business out of a fondness for the sport, with one plan to sell his own branded boards, Snow Devils, online. Scouring the web for an e-commerce platform, Toby couldn't find one that was easy and affordable to use. They all were complicated in both design and mechanics, often requiring the use of third-party services. Technology back then wasn't really developed. eBay and Yahoo, Yahoo were the only prominent ones that were easy to use, but not really affordable. Of course, there was the option to get an online store build, which wasn't exactly economical. With the stakes stacked against him, what could Toby do? He started to brainstorm a few ideas, trying to find a solution, and then it hit him. He could build his own online store. Toby partnered with his friend Scott Lake and started working. They used the open source web application framework Ruby on Rails to build Snow Devil's online store. The Snow Devil founders raised about $450,000 from family, friends, and investors and launched the platform as Shopify in June 2006, an online customizable store builder. Shortly after the launch, Scott left the company, but around that time, Toby hired Daniel Winand as chief design officer, making the founder trifecta of Shopify, Tobias Lutka, Daniel Winand, and Scott Lake. This whole journey was really Toby exploring his love for programming. He was even quoted, I really, really love the idea of constructing something in your brain. Having this idea, it's a little bit like painting. You have an idea for something and the programming language ends up becoming the mechanism for translating this idea you have in your head onto a canvas. If you have an amazing landscape, but they give you crayons, it's possible to build a massive landscape with crayons, but it always is a crayons painting. So this was sort of in the way like Java and others. They just didn't match up with the way my brain ended up constructing the relationships that make up software. 
Shopify. Toby didn't stop at just this. In fact, he was determined to keep hustling and create a user-friendly platform in every way possible. In June 2009, Shopify launched an application programming interface or API platform and App Store, allowing developers to create applications for Shopify online stores, which are then sold at the store. In April 2010, Shopify launched a free mobile app on the Apple App Store that lets Shopify store owners view and manage their stores from iOS mobile devices at their convenience. Now you might wonder, how is this possible at no cost on an iOS system, right? Well, Toby always wanted to make his products and services absolutely convenient for his customers. And so, he bore all the expenses himself. In 2010, Shopify started its Build a Business competition, in which participants create a business using its commerce platform, offering the cash prizes and a mentorship with entrepreneurs like Richard Branson, Eric Rice, and others. Within no time, Shopify was named Ottawa's fastest growing company by the Ottawa Business Journal in the year 2010. The company received $7 million from an initial Series A round of venture capital financing in December 2010. Its Series B round raised $15 million, over double of the previous amount in October 2011, opening up the gates to a variety of opportunities for the company. Being an entrepreneur requires trusting your gut and having faith that you will prevail. Toby and David never really compromised and made sure they always went with their instincts, growing the brand to an unimaginable level. In February 2012, Shopify acquired Select Start Studios Inc. S3, a mobile software developer along with 20 of the company's mobile engineers and designers. In August 2013, Shopify acquired Jet Cooper, a 25-person design studio based in Toronto. That year, they announced the launch of Shopify Payments, which allowed their merchants to accept credit cards without a third-party payment gateway. Shopify also announced the launch of an iPad-centric POS system that uses an iPad to accept payments from credit cards, all paving the path for the company to receive $100 million in Series C funding in December. And the milestones didn't stop there. By 2014, the platform had hosted approximately 120,000 online retailers and was listed as number 3 in Deloitte's Fast 50 in Canada as well as number 7 in Deloitte's Fast 500 of North America. Shopify earned $105 million in revenue in 2014, twice as much as the previous year. In February 2014, Shopify released its enterprise solution, Shopify Plus for large e-commerce businesses with access to additional features and support. They took the e-commerce world by storm. Even Amazon.com announced it would be closing its Amazon Web Store service for merchants, selecting Shopify as the preferred migration provider. Today, more than 275,000 businesses located in more than 150 countries around the world live on Shopify. The company today has more than 1,000 employees, earning $1 billion in 2018 alone. Over the years, they have even partnered with e-commerce titans like Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Uber. Today, brands like Kylie Cosmetics, Rothy's and Allbirds all use Shopify for their online stores. Fun fact, Every 52 seconds on Shopify, someone has the experience of getting their first sale. Shopify has become the platform where one goes from being a builder to being an entrepreneur. In fact, Toby has his own side hustle, selling socks, if you could believe that. Unfortunately, he refuses to reveal what its brand name is. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm so more people can see our videos and so that you can be notified when we launch our next video. We try and put out at least one new one per week and as you can imagine, the research and editing alone of these type of videos takes us close to 18 hours. So we would really appreciate it if you could also check out our Patreon. For just $1 a month, you can support our work. We produce over 12 videos per month, so that is literally 8 cents per video. Thank you so much and we'll see you at our next unmasking.